That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose let's take a look at All right, guys, here we are. We're back with another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, we pick off, you know, I've got to where I only record every so often. I just major parts of the game because this is a very long game and I would probably record a hundred episodes. Because I'm trying to go through and do all the quests and stuff like that. But when I get to some big stuff, uh, I'll go ahead and record. And right now, Arthur and Lenny are together. Lenny heard about these guys over here. They've got a bunch of dynamite and stuff. But he thinks that they've also got a bunch of cash that they want to try to rob. So... This is the part I've tried it a couple of times and I've died before I realized that there's a guy up there with a Gatling gun that's shooting me dead. So this is where we're at. And uh, we're going to see how many more takes it takes for me to get through this. So anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get started. Give the word. I'm gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? Waiting on you.
quick. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep, yep. Easy. Yep. some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lying bastards! <laughs> Anyone chasing us? I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. I guess my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. All right. You guys have no idea how long it took me to do that. I'm trying to do all this without having to use dead eye. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Well, 
and I raided a big old house in the swamps, stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. Place. I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. <laughs> is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say so. Yeah, I just spent all that money fixing. Bitches tent up trying to make him happier. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Yep, just the way it is. Oh, hey, Arthur. What you want, Micah? Nothing. I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello then. You really are a very charming man, aren't you? I trust all's well. Just fine. Thank you. Glad to hear it. So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Well, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Whatever you say. Good morning. Talk to Lenny. Ah, okay. Got some weapons you could sell. Well, I should get back to it. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. You spoken a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Mm. 
seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? Whoa, My lord. <laughs> There's somebody who needs to go to confession. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. You here for some fishing? Why don't you get the hell out of here before we hook that maggot of yours and see what really bites? Well, aren't you just perfect charmers? Good day to you, then. Let's try our luck somewhere else. I know another spot where hopefully we won't be interrupted. Sounds perfect for the drowning. <laughs> Very funny. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Are you coming then? Try this spot out. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. What are you waiting for? Last one in then, Arthur.
So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure, go on, I'll see you later. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. 
right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out. Absolutely ridiculous. Keep forcing so, me into all these. Tell me again bank about robberies. this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, with. how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See? You don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Drinking, that's I'm a... sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured, <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. Uh, I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this then. You did well with that gang at Shady Bell. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I heard the rest of them have moved on from there now, so we must have sent enough of a message. I reckon so. <laughs> I ain't lose much sleep over them fellas. Me neither. They'd have loved nothing more than to strang me up. That weren't gonna happen. <laughs> not through lack of trying? Nah, not to you. You'll outlive a lot of us. Good haul, too. That dynamite should come in real useful today. Yeah, if we can even get near the bank without someone recognizing us and raising hell. Well, we'll have to see about that. Just keep your eyes open. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? How about we wait 
until after the bank, all right? Are you out your damn mind? Take it nice and easy. Too scared to let folks see you real. Face, huh? Hey! Morning, team. Horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. Karen, go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. Decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. You're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. I'm not sure this is quite the play. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real down. Would you care to? I'm a child, and I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn right. hands Go. up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Get the word up! Be move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! It's unlocked! We're good! Oh, oh you think oh. we're here? No. Oh. Come on! Oh. 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 Oh, open a goddamn vault! Oh, oh, open it! Oh, oh. Oh. Too goddamn oh. slow! No! Oh. Oh. Come on. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This 
son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay. Okay. Son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! Okay. I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here! Come here. <clears throat> Open the lockboxes now! I... Uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I... God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you oh. better be quick. <clears throat> you shut the hell up and stay still. Just yet. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. One. Good. We gotta move.
think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. Good I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. 
I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Yep, and he's the reason you're going to have tuberculosis, bud. I'm trying to hear what Dutch is saying. You got a choice. Sure. I got a choice. That's nice. Work. You four, I salute you. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Pearson. Quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Just so you know, I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill all of them. Who, Mrs. Adler? Those old Driscolls. I'm gonna find them and kill each and every one of them bastards. Just watch me. You've had a bad time, but... But we ain't in the revenge business. It don't keep you fed. <sighs> Just watch me. Me, Arthur, just for a minute. <laughs> See you once.
Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> OK, OK. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor i ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <sighs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me i couldn't see your name on it oh relax i ain't here to rob you <laughs> though it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. 
No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood few. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing, Tris. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. I'll say it, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. Uh, <laughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? Shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Right. Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there, Fenton. There, there, don't get mad now. Get us moving, Arthur. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. Besides the land of opportunity, now it's your opportunity to get hideous from <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Man, grab another bottle. There's plenty 
Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation? You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 no. oh. never to take up a career in, what was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. 
Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. On foot, where's the horse? So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Anyway, we're going to cut this one off. Um, appreciate everybody joining us. And keep your eye out for the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado. Without further ado, listen to me. Anyway, just like always. We'll catch you next time. But if I lay down and I play dead.